Hi everyone. I'm stuck here in the office. So I decided to make it another how-to video. I was thinking about more illustrations that I could do for Wuthering Heights, and I'm kind of stuck in this office. If you look around here, there's really nothing to choose from in terms of ideas. My mom has joined me, so she's sitting over there just kind of waiting for me to finish. But there's just nothing to choose from for ideas. So I can either draw from my imagination or I can try to draw this horse that I found in just a, you know, like a, a travel magazine. And I'm gonna try to draw this horse because there are plenty of scenes that involve horses in Wuthering Heights. And one of the things that really struck me for this video is that Catherine in the beginning is um, six years old and can ride any horse on, on Wuthering Heights, on, on the farm. So because she's so good with horses, I thought maybe drawing a horse next might be a good idea, just to reminisce about her when she was younger, even though now she's older. But when she was young, remember when when, mas when the master went off to and ended up coming back with Heathcliff, he asked his two children, Catherine and Hindley, what they would like, what they would would like him to bring back. And Kathy ordered off ordered a whip from because she was an expert rider. Of course, I don't think any expert rider would be whipping their horse all the time, but I think that they did give Kathy, that, that request gave Kathy such a kind of a wild child image that stuck with me throughout the book. So let's put a horse on here. And I chose this horse from the cover of a travel magazine. Okay, so we're gonna, I'm gonna start drawing this horse. Now, you know, when I say I'm doing a video on how to draw a horse, it's really just a video on how to draw anything because when you draw anything, you just mainly need to start and get the proportions right. So how, how big am I gonna put this horse here? Well, it depends what I wanna do with it. I think I'm gonna put a great big horse. Okay, let's get started. My first impressions. Um, I'm starting with this really powerful neck. The neck is always the first thing that I think of on a horse. And maybe I'm not making that line steep enough. Okay. Now, start to the, the face. He looks a little comical right now. That's okay though. We just got to keep going. Got to keep getting these proportions right. So I don't want this man on him. So I'm going to put, I think I'm going to put Kathy on him. But let's put the tail back here. Here's the rider. I'm going to make her a child. Draw what you see and try not to spend too much time in any one area of the canvas.
Corrections are easy to make. It's no big deal to make a correction. Don't be afraid of doing something wrong. Mainly, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just get started. When something looks off, you fix it. Now, how do we tell if something looks awful? Let's start, let's look at some proportional ideas right here. Let's look at the neck, okay? The neck from, from here to here and from here to here is clearly longer in the photo. So this area looks and is longer than the legs. Even though it looks kind of strange. Now I'm going to put some shadowing in here. Don't be afraid to move things if you put them in the wrong place. Move the eye again, that's fine. Big, big. That's fine. I'm using a little bit of my. All I brought with me was the charcoal and the paper towel for this. This leg would not come down very far for a six-year-old. So, I'm gonna let this leg come down though. I'm not gonna put that actual leg in there, but I will put this final horse hoof right there. I hope I can learn to shut up so these videos will sound better, right? I know it can't be fun to sit there and watch me draw. I know that's no fun. So now see how this, the back part is smaller than the front part is because the front part is more towards us. So then we can, it's, it's okay to make this part much smaller to make it look like this part is closer to us. 